hey Hannah I love you so much and uh, just wanted to reflect on kind of our experience that we had last night uh, first of all happy belated birthday again <laughs> I just love to celebrate your life precious Hannah and uh, you know it's only been a few days since your birthday and I just continue to rejoice that you're my daughter uh, that God has brought you into my life because man you give me so much you are such a blessing to me and I have such the privilege of being your father and loving you like Christ loves the church like Christ loves me and like Christ loves you and hopefully you experience that through me um, I want to first apologize for my lack of compassion last night as the car broke down and I, I didn't respond quickly in love to you as you were crying and crying out for mom and um, you know I, I I'm sometimes too hard in that way where I'm like hey this is not suffering like what's wrong with you and that's not that's not good and holy um, there's a there's a part of that that is true but I, I really should have responded quickly by saying come forward as I did later you know come forward and, and give me a hug hand on me hold you it's, it's gonna be okay because that that is the Father in Heaven's love you know as we cry out regardless of what we're crying out to him for he always runs to us he always embraces us and holds us close to him and whispers in our ear it's gonna be okay I love you and I've got you and so you know hopefully you felt that above everything as I did that you know after a few minutes of of hearing your crying you not a few minutes but you know a few seconds or whatever but um, anyway I'm a work in progress it's called sanctification and you know I admit that to you and I ask that you'd forgive me for that uh, that immediate response and um, you know it's so great to have you sit on my lap and that was God where I was able to just say you know yeah let's talk to mom and you know you're you're gonna be okay and and so uh, you know that that's one aspect of what I learned from last night um, the other aspect is is uh, an encouragement to you and that is in the moment um, you know when when all of a sudden things like take a turn um, for seemingly the worst or worse you know when things are going well or like you know something happens where we're like oh I don't want this this is not good I want to go home and go to bed and I'm tired and you know, we have to stop and just immediately go to the Lord and say okay Lord I trust you right because we were praying in faith that God would take care of that van and, and heal that van and he's more than capable of doing it um, so when when it didn't happen we need to stop and say okay Lord so this is this is your will right now because you're in control and we've already asked and remember the, the you know God tells us when we ask for anything we receive it and so when we trust that and know that you know when we ask for anything if it's in line with his will it will happen that when it doesn't happen we can say okay so your will is that this van is not healed you know that this van is is not work right now so then it's like what is this about and I tried I did that last night you know when I stopped I said okay Lord you know what do, what do you want us to be doing here and it felt like an overwhelming peace uh, predominantly over pretty much everybody in the car and then you know just said okay let's continue in prayer and you know some of the people you know I think it was uh, Kyle actually was cool who made, started to make jokes and you know it's like make light of the situation you know like let's laugh amidst the trial which is really an awesome way to, to deal with some of the struggles that we face um, you know always a good way to deal with any trial we have is to go to the Lord and praise him and rejoice you know God tells us to rejoice in our sufferings um, because of what the suffering is doing in us but but in that and so in that rejoicing when we actually don't respond with oh, I don't want this but we respond instead by saying okay what are you what uh what's going on I rejoice in this this is awesome Lord it doesn't necessarily feel awesome but uh, I know it is because I know what you say and that is that you use all things for my greater good because I love you and so what is it Lord that you're doing and so then we can we can really get a, you know learn and grow from that experience whereas if we reject it and, and say I don't want this I don't want this I don't want this I don't want it we're not really going to be able to hear God and you know this kind of in interactions with other people right when when you're trying to say something to Michaela and she's like I'm not listening I'm not listening you know you can speak to her until you're blue in the face until you're you know you can speak and if she's not listening it's not going to get in you know get through to her and you know you experience that with me like if I'm listening to somebody else and you're trying to you know if I'm focused on something else and trying to get my attention 
you know, I'm not going to listen to you. And same thing with God. Like, if we're focused on how negative this situation is, we, we can't hear what God is wanting to say to us. And so we need to stop and say, okay, Lord. So, for example, you know, last night, it was, you know, I think God was testing our faith. He was saying, you know, what are we going to do as a family in a time of trial? Are we going to get upset? Are we going to question him and his love for us? Um, or are we going to kind of walk this out in joy and love? And uh, so, you know, that's my encouragement to you. Instead of the quickness to be like, I don't want this and get frustrated, you know, to, to see the situation and say, okay, what are you, what are you giving me? Because God, this is the, one of the coolest things about God. He's always giving, He's always giving. He, he, he not necessarily is going to be giving what we think we need or that we want, but he's always giving us something good. And so when we have that perspective, when we have that mind frame, you know, and we're like, okay, so I'm not getting what I want, this piece of candy from dad. What are you giving me? Oh, you're giving me the sight to see colors, and you're giving me the ability to hear others, and you're giving me the, you know, that's why God tells us to be thankful always, because and to pray unceasingly because if we um, if we're focused on what we don't we have we don't have and we're not thanking him for oh my gosh the eternal life he's giving us and the family that we have and, it, and all these different things that we get wrapped up in this place of oh gosh this is I don't want I don't have what I want and and people see that and they're like huh you know that person supposedly knows the God of the universe supposedly knows this awesome God and they're upset because they don't get a piece of candy like. Is that love? Is that really like, hmm? So we have to get in the habit of when we don't get what we want, still rejoicing in who God is and what he is giving us and what he has given us. You know, we can always rejoice in our salvation, right? And the promise of eternal life, like that's, that overwhelms every struggle we have. And so as you're, you know, I think God wanted to test you last night in, in this struggle and to, and to help you grow so that, you know, because there's going to be harder struggles than just the van breaking down that God is going to give you in life, you know, with people or circumstances, so that he wants to train you up, so that when suffering comes, instead of responding with, I don't want this, I don't want this, to be like, oh, what a gift, God, of this van breaking down. What a cool memory. Remember I said that? I'm like, Lord, thank you for this memory you've given us, um, Lord, of where we are stuck in the dark and it's snowing out and we're waiting for help. And, you know, it's, it's a cool, like we can reflect back on these things and be like, oh, God, you were there and I see what you did. Um, so anyway, I love you so much, Hannah. Hopefully this makes sense. And if it doesn't, as always, please come to me and ask me, you know, if there's something that um, you want to me to clarify with you, you know, to make more clear with you and, um,